when you open it up it had whoa oh, shit hi guys welcome back to my channel thank y'all so so much for being here i really appreciate it what am i doing with my fist i don't even know today we're going to be doing a huda beauty new nude palette review it's been a good long while since i've done any sort of like real makeup review and i thought why not this one <laughs> I ordered this palette from Sephora.com, I want to say about two weeks ago. I got it in the mail about a week ago, so I've been playing with it since that time. And my reviews are going to be kind of mixed. I paid $65 for it plus tax. So, you know, depending on where you live is going to be dependent on how much tax you pay. But where I live, it's around 10%. So if you base it off of 17 shades, each shade is about $3.82 per shade. I wrote down some notes just so I can kind of keep me on track because if not, I will be all over the place. This video will be four hours long. When you slip it out of the packaging, this is what the actual palette looks like. It is cardboard packaging, not really impressive per se because a lot of palettes are cardboard nowadays the um nude word here is in a kind of a pink holographic is really pretty and it's comparable in size to a seven dollar palette that i purchased on amazon this one looks nothing like the hoodie beauty new nudes palette on the inside but it is exactly the same size so yeah same size same packaging um, same amount of eyeshadows inside so something to consider the packaging is pretty cheap when you open up the palette it has a really pretty plastic picture of Huda on the inside and then this is what the inside of the palette looks like it has a really nice mirror I haven't taken off the little cellophane protector yet but I love the colors might not translate online so much but in person it is so beautiful the colors the shimmers especially especially like these four shades here they are so stunning in person and i know if you've watched a um, review of this before everybody says that but it's really they're really special looking they have almost a holographic look to them it's like specks of different color shimmer and it's really really pretty Baby. yeah if you hear the shot gone Please excuse me for a minute. It would appear that we have a chicken hawk trying to get our chicken. So there's 17 shades total. As I said before, you get 10 mattes. You get four ultra metallics, which are these shades there. You get two glitters and you get one glitter base, which is this one here called Concealed. I wouldn't say that this really has a color to it. I mean, online it kind of looks like a color. But when you actually put it on your lid, it doesn't translate um, much of a shade so I think any skin tone can use this shade overall I love the color story of this palette it's very flirty very girly very feminine it's not something that you see very often in fact whenever I was trying to dupe these shades with not you could dupe the shades individually with other colors I mean that's just easy to do but to find a palette that's comparable to this, I wasn't able to actually find one. So that does make it somewhat unique on the market today. It also steers away from the kind of warm trends that we were seeing in 2016, 17, and 18. You know, the real orangey shades, warm shades, the brown tones. Sometimes it's good to kind of step away from what you've been doing for a long time and do something a little bit different. You know what I'm saying? I'm actually wearing this palette today and this is the third time that I've used the palette. And I find these shades very easy to blend, very easy to work with. There is a ton of kickback in the pan. It's very similar to the Anastasia Beverly Hills formula, if you know what I'm talking about. If that doesn't really bother you, then I wouldn't worry about it. Over the past week or so, I have used every single matte shade in here. I've used most of the shimmer shades, but I've used all the matte shades. And I can say that they are absolutely beautifully pigmented they are uh, very blendable there are some inconsistencies with the formula uh, for example this shade love bite here sometimes it can get a little patchy it can kind of um, blend out I don't know just a little odd over another matte shade that doesn't really bother me because if you kind of pack it instead of blending it out you know harshly then that really does fix the problem but one thing I will say is a lot of the shades look very similar to the other. So for example, this shade Secret and this sheet shade Teddy. On the lid, you cannot tell a difference. They look exactly the same. I mean, when you swatch them out, there's going to be subtle differences. But on the lid, it looks completely the same. Secret, Raw, and Teddy. See how similar they look on my fingers? 
And then whenever you talk about the metallic shades, some of those look very similar to each other too. For example, Daydream and Fantasy, when you swatch them out, they're going to look pretty different. I mean, this one right here looks a little deeper and this one looks a little brighter, but on the lid, it looks very, very similar. It's almost too similar to warrant the value of this palette. And as beautiful as the ultra metallic shades are, when you're trying to put them on the lid, it is very tricky. Even with the, um, the glitter base here, when you apply them, even with a finger or a sponge tip applicator, which it says on the back to use, it just doesn't want to adhere to the lid. I'm wearing this palette today and I have to say, I love the way it came out. It's just a really beautiful, functional palette. There are some quirks with it. It's not perfect. It's not a complete palette by any means. It definitely needs a deeper shade than Love Bite because Love Bite is just not going to be deep, deep enough for especially darker skin tone women and men. It's just not gonna work for them. What I use today as a transition shade was the color Secret, which is a warm kind of mauve pink with a brown undertone, kind of similar to what you would see in everyday palettes nowadays. And then in the crease, I put the color Raw, which is a more or less burnt sienna. Um, it doesn't look like it in the palette, but it is more or less a burnt sienna. On the outer V, I use the shade Love Bite, which is perfect for an everyday kind of outer crease color. I do wish they had something, like I said before, something a little bit deeper just to kind of add another dimension to it. But it is a really pretty kind of purpley, mauve you know, earthy shade. Then working my way towards the mobile lid, I used the color Spanked, which is a really pretty, it's a, kind of a step up from Love Bite. It's a little bit more on the pinky side instead of purpley side. For the pop of shimmer, I used the color Crave and then uh, Charmed. And I think I used a little bit of Fantasy as well. And if you follow me on Instagram, I did an Instagram stories the other night. Um, and I basically said I didn't think the palette was worth it. I thought it was too much money for what you get and I'm kind of going to stand by that. And then another big hiccup is it's not made for darker skin tones. It's just not. I don't think that someone who is as dark or even a little bit lighter than say Jackie Ina, if you're familiar with her, I really don't think that she would get much use out of this palette. On lighter skin tones and medium skin tones, I actually think it would be really pretty. I mean, overall, I would say the palette is really beautiful. Uh, it's functional. It does what it's supposed to do, but it also has hiccups. So proceed with caution. So I hope y'all are having a fantastic day wherever you are in the world. And please come back and see my next video. It should be up in the next few days. I'm going to try to do two this week. And I was thinking about doing a 50 facts about me. Um, let me know if y'all would be interested in something like that. I've been kind of writing stuff down over the course of a couple of months, just kind of, I don't know, something that I would like to share or just so my subscribers can kind of get to know me a little bit better because I like that. I like knowing or feeling like I know the person who I'm watching. It just makes it a little bit more intimate. Um, people are like onions. Everybody's got differences. Everybody's got opinions. And I like to know things like that. So let me know if that's something you would like to see. I'll see y'all soon. Bye.